Hi everyone, welcome to another process video on my channel. This one is semi-mixed media. I use some uh, modeling paste. This is the stencil that came with the Felicity Jane Willow kit, which I will be using. This is a photo of my husband and I on vacation years ago, uh, about six and a half or seven years ago. I was five or six months pregnant with our son, who's going to be turning seven this year. To color my modeling paste, I'm going to be using a combination of Heidi Swap Color Shine in Mustard and the Studio Calico Color Theory 05 Yellow. You'll see the yellow. You'll see the yellow is way too bright for the paper that I wanted to use that was from the kit. So that's why um, I pulled out the mustard to try to get a color somewhere around the paper, but also I was wearing yellow and hubby was wearing orange. So try to bring all those colors together. It does take me a little bit to get there. I tried the yellow with some mustard, then I tried the mustard on its own, and I ended up combining them to get the perfect shade. So that's all I'm doing here. And I was roughly following a sketch from June 15th, Stuck Sketches. It had a heart background behind your photo. I don't end up doing a heart, but I did um, some of those little triangles to mimic what they had behind their photo. This is an erasable pen, uh, Friction by uh, Ball, Pilot Ball Friction. I used that to roughly outline where I wanted my photo so I knew that my um, modeling paste wouldn't be behind, strictly behind my photo. I wanted it, you know, some peeking out and then coming down the page. So I pushed this through the stencil and then obviously I have to let it dry, so I'll come back in a little bit. So here we are. It's time for me to start on my papers. I wanted to back it in that um, navy blue paper to tone down the um, yellow in our shirts and the orange in, our, in my hubby shirt to be right up against the yellow paper and the yellow modeling paste. So you are going to see me really struggle with this layout. I don't know. I think it's the mixed media. Anytime I try to use any mixed media techniques, whether it be the packaging technique or modeling paste, I just don't know what to do with my embellishments then, I guess. I guess I feel like my modeling paste is my embellishment. So you're really going to see me struggle here. I added one of those rose uh, gold paper clips to the top right hand corner of my photo just for a little something. Use, you know, use something from the kit. Also give a little bit of texture. I wanted to add something. You'll probably see me a million times try to put something with that paper clip and it just didn't work for me. Again, I think it's the mixed media. So here I am cutting apart a journaling card using my best glue ever for just a few dots. Just for a little something peeking out. I've noticed now I don't I don't want to say I don't care for because I'll probably end up doing it on my next layout. But I don't feel like my mountings anymore need to be just square around the same side of the photo, completely even. I'm doing better about having it, you know, just peek out from little places. So I'm going to use some of that washi tape that came with the kit. They're washi tape strips. This one is a white and black polka dot to kind of ground the photo, give it somewhere to sit. I felt like it was hanging out there in space. You'll see I have all the bits and bobs from the kid next to me and I'm trying to make it work, sitting things here and there. And again, I think it's I think it's the mixed media for me. I, I 
really struggle with what to do once I have that mixed media down. But I really wanted to use that stencil and try to get myself a little bit out of my comfort zone so that not every layout looks the same. So I'm going to play with using that title, Happy. I do end up going with it on camera. It looks really light for the page, but in person it is not. So I'm going to pull out the stamp set from um, June's kit. Willow was May, Summer was June, and it had some perfect sayings for the fact that we were at the beach here. And it had this little, like, crosshair type uh, stamp that I kept trying to make work, but it doesn't end up making it on the page. I do end up doing uh, what is, for me, a lot of stamping for this page. You'll see in a minute. I tried to make the title Happy Summer Vibes work, but I didn't like... I didn't like it together, so then I end up trying to cut it apart, but I couldn't get it tucked in with the P and the Y where I liked it, so that ends up coming off the page as well. So that little camera was from the cut apart sheet, the print and cut that we get each month. Again, it ended up not making it. There's the puffy stickers. I do end up using a few of those. Surprise, surprise. I do end up also using more washi. I'm playing around. There was a, a black title. I think it said Adventure. I thought maybe that would, you know, balance out all the yellow. But again, I go with that happy. And I want to, I really did want to use some of the flowers because just because. Uh, it's not something I usually work with. I really wanted to try. But the corally color of the flowers on the yellow with my husband's orange shirt, just too much clashing for my taste. So I end up keeping the rest of it fairly simple. I stick a tag up there in the right-hand corner. Um, in the pink of the washi tape, I'm eventually going to use. I do end up stamping on that. Yeah, you see me tapping my fingers as I try to play with all of this stuff. And there is a there's the pink piece of pink washi that I end up using, and I spend a good deal of time. Their washi is actually, you think on a sheet it wouldn't be so thick. It is really thick. I actually had trouble getting it to tear. I've never done the tear washi technique before. But I thought with the uh, mixed media and already having a straight piece of washi, that having the little bit of tearing and interest wouldn't be a bad thing. It ended up... Um, looking really cute. I don't know how well you can see it on camera because it is really light pink, but in person I, I really like it. So I'm just going to fiddle more and fiddle more. I do end up cutting my tags apart. That way I always get two for one. Figured I can always, if I want tech, the, the height of having a double label, I can always add you know, foam tape or um, a staple for texture. So I'm really trying to use up that Umbrella Crafts tape runner that Scrapbook.com sent me, but it just wouldn't stick to that uh, title, so I used my best glue ever. I'm using some tiny, I think they're like, they're the same shape as the stencil, so little triangles to add some pops of the same color around the page. So here I have the star stamp from the summer kit. I'm just tapping it in my ink pad and then I didn't even put it on a block. It's on the bottom of my finger. 
tap it in the ink pad. I tapped it off on some scrap cardstock so that not everyone was dark, so it wasn't perfect. Now I'm going to attempt again that summer vibes. Thought, okay, I'm just going to do su happy summer. Couldn't make it work, so I, I gave up. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to try to stamp fun in the sun on my photo, and I. I I have stamped on my photo the last couple times I've done a layout with no problem. This time, thank goodness, it was in the corner because it just didn't come out nicely. Um, I have a feeling that's because there was that mixed media under there. So I let it sit to, the, to see if, you know, can I live with it? And I try to pull out some of my enamel dots that I make. But I felt like anything I put on was just getting to be too much. So you'll see I add um, a tag and stamp on the tag to cover up that fun in the sun. I add some black uh, little puffy hearts that I have to match the... No, it was black stars, not hearts. It was black stars um, to mimic the stars in my modeling piece but at a different uh, height. And that's about it, guys. I'm, I'm almost done. You'll see me add my tag and then just stamp on it. I forget which stamp I ended up choosing. I really love my tiny attacher, but I wish it was longer. I would have liked to have a staple there instead of the glue. So I know the ones that I end up choosing, one says today, and I'm not sure I remember what the the one on the, the bottom right says. So you'll have to bear with me for that. So I'll put some still shots at the end, guys. Thanks for watching with me. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe. I love your comments. Um, family fun. That's what it says. Family fun. But I'd love your comments, and I'd love to see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.